whole numbers. We're going to be reading and writing whole numbers with your host, me, Catherine. Let's get started. Before we can start reading and writing whole numbers, we need to talk about place value. I know that most of us know ones, thousands, millions, billions, and so on. But did you know that each of these is called a group? This one's called the ones group or period, the thousands group or period, the millions group, and the billions group. Of course, we have bigger ones like trillions, but for this video, we're only going to go to billions. But in this video, we're only going to get to millions. The first thing we need to do is identify the place value of each digit in the numbers. What I like to do is actually write the number underneath the place value. You're going to notice that my commas line up. Now all we have to do is look. What number is in the three thousands? Three. What number is in the hundreds? Six. And finally, what number is in the ones? Four. Let's look at this larger number. Once again, until you get really good at it, you should write it in the place value chart. 6 is in our thousands place, 5 is in the ten thousands place, 8 is in our hundreds place, and what number is in the millions place? Well, let's look. Here's my millions place, and we don't have a number, so we are going to write none. We don't write zero because zero is a digit, it's a number, so we write none. And then finally, 3 is in our ones place. This one is for you to practice, so you're going to pause the lesson, find the numbers, then press play to check. All right, let's see how you did. First of all, like I said, I like to write my numbers in the place value chart. The number in the thousands place is 7. The number in the ten millions place is 5. The number in the ones place is 2. The number in the millions place is 6. And finally, the number in the hundred thousands place is three. How'd you do? Let's look at some rules we need to remember when we read and write whole numbers. The first thing is we need to spell the numbers correctly. It's really important. Next, we need to realize that we have to hyphenate all compound numbers from 21, notice it's 20 hyphen one, through 99. 90 hyphen 9. So here's our first example, 32. You'll notice that I wrote 30 hyphen 2. How about this one, 97? 90 hyphen 7. And our last example is 54. 50 hyphen 4. We also have to remember that the word and is reserved for the decimal place. So let's look at this number, 525. I know a lot of us will say 525, but that's wrong. Don't put the and in there. It's only for the decimal place. Let's look at another example. 782. So we have 780 hyphen 2. Let's look at our last one. This one is 690 hyphen 3. Cool. Lastly, I hope you notice that we use a comma between the period or groups. We even saw that when we were looking at our place value chart. So let's look at our first example. 3,000 comma 213. You'll notice that there's a comma between the thousands and the ones place. Here's our last example. 26,000 comma 741. Now it's your turn. You're gonna do some practice here. You're gonna pause the video Write the numbers in words, and then press play to check. Let's check your answers. 21, 703, 940 hyphen 6, hopefully you remember the hyphen, 3000 comma 750, and finally, 90 hyphen 8, thousand ninety eight thousand comma six hundred seventeen next 
we're going to look at how we can say and write each number using digits. Basically, you read it and you write it is pretty much what you do. So the first one is 570, 570, 12,000, 641, 1, 2, 641. 6 million, 270,000, 60. 6, 270, 060. 635,228. 635, 228. And finally, 43,000. That's 43, 000. zero, zero. Now it's your turn, so you're going to pause the video, write out the digits, and then press play to check. Let's check your numbers. The first one should be 385, 385. 83,719, 83, comma, 719. 15,379,008. 15, comma, 379, comma, 008. 6, 300,684. 6, comma, 300, comma, 684. And finally, 392 million. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that just be lovely to have? Those numbers are 392, comma, 000, comma, Zero, zero, zero. We're going to use the table to find the average salary in 2010 and write the number in words. First thing we need to talk about is the columns go up and down and the rows go side to side and that's really important to memorize. So what we're going to look at is we want the average salary in 2010 so we need to find the year 2010. So you notice that I highlighted it. Next, we want to find the average salary. So we're going to look for the average salary, and that's in our average salary row. And wherever they intersect is actually our answer. So our answer is 25,743. But the question asks us to write the number in words. So what's that going to look like? 20 hyphen 5,000 comma 740 hyphen 3. Before we end the video, let's do a self-quiz to see how you're doing. Pause the quiz, solve, and no peeking. When you're ready, press play to check. Let's check these. So number one, hopefully you have 50 hyphen 6,000 comma 890 hyphen 3. Number two, 1 million comma 470 hyphen 2,000. 690-3. Now I should have written this all in one line, but it wouldn't fit on my PowerPoint here. So hopefully yours is all in one line. And number three, 9,000 comma 150-3. I would like to thank you for watching this video. Do you need help taking notes with this video, or would you like to practice as you learn? We created video guides and worksheets for all of our videos in the Pi Crustable Lecture Series. You can find all of them at Teachers Pay Teachers. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the new videos. Do you have a request? Let me know at piecrustable at gmail.com or in this YouTube video comment box below. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next lecture.